While you've been studying here, you've lived through a hard passage of history. Think about all we've witnessed and all we've been through lately. The class of 2022, crossing the finish line, having navigated unprecedented roadblocks, forcing detours caused by COVID-19, political upheaval, and Mother Nature's wrath. Let us promise ourselves that our corporate memory of the tragic reality of the inequities experienced with COVID-19 does not fade after we return to our new normal. It will take a decades-long commitment for our society to address these disparities. I strongly urge you to be part of that commitment. Words of wisdom offered by a powerful pack of orators. Own your power because you are the future. I need you to strut your stuff when you are walking like I am all that. I need you to walk like that because many of us, we are actually invisibilized in this country, right? We are targeted in this country with hate and somehow see us as a threat. Marking the first in-person graduation ceremonies for so many since the pandemic arrived, impacting us all. At Kane University, Tony nominated deaf actor Lauren Ridloff, inspiring students with another first, relaying her speech in American Sign Language. What I see right now in this small little world that we call Kane University, I see diversity. I see inclusion. I see freedom. I see 3,000 agents of change. At Stevens Institute of Technology, Major League Baseball Hall of Famer Cal Ripken Jr. reminding graduates of a powerful tool already in their possession. When you truly have a positive attitude, you capture that energy of what can be accomplished as opposed to why it can't be done. You become a willing participant. You try things, you do things, you learn every step of the way. You become action-oriented. Your failures even become more valuable experiences. Their messages carrying hope and humility. The most important skills I gained from my education, my university, were learning how to learn, how to work with others, how to communicate ideas, and above all, how to make a difference in the world. From world leaders to hometown heroes. Don't let fear of uncertainty hold you back from doing what's right and doing what's good in the service of others. And New Jersey's chief judge, Jose Linares, the first Cuban-born district court chief in the United States, pushing graduates to be true to themselves, but reach for even greater heights. Think about what you've accomplished today. Think of your 12-year-old or 13-year-old self and say, would that 13-year-old self see me here today? And if the answer is that yes, would he or she like me? And then what about 20, 30, 40 years from now? Can I envision that person? The class of 2022, onward and upward from here, resilient, ready for whatever life throws their way.